Hi, Beanpole. Did you make it? Oh, hello. How did it go? Well, I made the jump. Seven? Yes. Well, then you are the best. You must be selected. Heckel does not like me. Drink? Yeah. Mm. Doesn't matter a bit what Carl thinks. I know what Julius thinks. You've spoken to him? This afternoon. Which is why I know he won't send me. Well, you've won all your bouts. No, I bet we all go. Mm. Really? Provided they judge on the results. You're all so keen on the suicide. None of you have seen the Tripod City of Gold, have you? Not from the inside, but... It's vast. Another world. Its power is... I can't imagine. It's beyond imagination. You've seen it, then? Oh, yes. And the Tripods are 20 years more powerful now than they were then. What's in your mind, I wonder? Scaling the walls of an old castle, perhaps? Climbing up the battlements to slit the throat of a dozing guard? Everyone who goes will be accurately briefed. Can you be so sure of that? When we went raiding for food, we came back with mule trains laden with the chores. Now what do we get? A mangy cow and a bag of hens. In exchange for one of our best fighters. Well, what would you do now, Schenker, if you were our leader? It's too late. One really hard winter, and we shall all starve to death. And that will be an end of it. If you have nothing positive to offer, come on. Positive to send me our boys to the city? What happened to last year's? They, too, were brave and full of hope. Where are they now? However, we've had scouts on reconnaissance, and we've selected three possible routes. One by Lake Constance, another by Basel, and a third to the Jura. We have experienced guides for all three parties. And the Basel party would complete their journey by barge. Uh, that's right. The El Codic is due to leave for Koblenz on the 29th of September. The skip has already been briefed. Excellent, Kieran. I'd just like to record our thanks to the reconnaissance parties. Clearly, excellent work has been done. Yeah, yeah. Has anybody any questions? Henry? Uh, during our recce, we discovered a point where the tripods exercise, high up in the hillside. No doubt preparing for an assault on us. Somewhere near here. They regularly tramp through the edge of the forest. There's a perfect spot where, with just a few men, we could prepare a trap to capture a tripod. And what new purpose would that serve, do you think? Well, we could prove that they are not gods, as the cat believe. We could show that they are just machines with men inside them. Then surely we can convince more of the cat that they've been fooled. I wish a solution to the problem could be found that way. But the history of the tripods, as it's been handed down to us, and as we have researched it over the years, is... Well, it's more complex and more disturbing than you think. But we've seen the ancient city. We know they were capable of making such machines. Indeed they were. Kieran, please explain the theory of artificial intelligence to Henry. What we learned from studying the remains of the ancestor civilization is that about 150 years ago, they began to make machines that were capable of doing calculations much more quickly than we can in our heads. Like crude mechanical brains. Well, they call them computers. Very quickly, these machines became more and more sophisticated till eventually, by means of a process called bioengineering, computers could be grown from human tissue. Now, not only did they look more like a human brain in form, they began to be superior in performance. What we believe then happened was that the artificial intelligences became discontented with the illogical behavior and the violence of their human creators. They began to communicate secretly with each other. And when the ancestors began yet another war, the brains devised the tripods and began the capping process to strip our ancestors of the power to destroy themselves. What we have to do now is to recover control over our own destiny, which our ancestors had forfeited by their own stupidity. <laughs>
three friends. This meal is to celebrate the selection of our candidates for the game. But first, sadly, we offer our condolences to Anne, whose brother Pierre has sacrificed his own life to save others. Pierre's loss is one that this community can ill afford. And we all extend our sympathies to Anne in her personal grief. But Pierre's death underlines the seriousness of the occasion which we are here to celebrate. The six young people chosen to compete in the games will face the same dangers as Pierre, but the future of all of us, indeed the future of human freedom, may well depend on them. So now, Fritz Egger. So this, we have selected you to compete in the 100 and 200 meters. <laughs> Maria Sagon. Maria, we have chosen you for the job. Gianni Menotti. I think we can say that you have chosen yourself for the 3,000 meters. You are chosen for the long jump. You will compete for us in the 400 meters. But before I come to the last name, I must try to stem what I know will be a flood of disappointment from one who has trained so hard and whose athletic achievements have been so great that he must have felt himself to be an automatic choice. Henry Parker, your development of new tactics for combating the tripod has ensured for you a key role in the vital defense of our stronghold. After long deliberation, we have decided to keep you here. To play what we know will be an invaluable part in ensuring that when your companions return from the city of gold, we shall still be here to receive them. Do you accept the task? Yes, I do. Then finally, we come to the last athlete to be chosen in the lightweight division of the boxing, we shall be represented by Will Parker. <laughs> Let us begin by raising our goblets to the success of our champions in the game and in the vital task of bringing back to us the secrets of the Tripod City. To the game! so sure you would be going. Do you mind very much? Of course I mind. But I respect the decision. Thanks, Henry. You have Eloise inside the city. Julius knows that. An extra spur. I hope you find her. Thanks, Henry. It's a great relief to know you don't resent the choice. I resent it like hell. 
What's he up to now? Oh, <laughs> making a star chart in case we get lost. Everyone in the world will know the way to the city of gold. You try telling him that. Henry will provide an escort for the third pair, Will and Fritz. You'll make your way to the ancestors' port of Basel. There you'll find a river barge called the Earl Koenig. The captain's name is Ulf. The Earl Koenig will take you downriver to the site of the games. The stadium is between Koblenz and the city of Gold. If you win your event, the tripods themselves will carry you into their city. 